For this quick lesson, we're going to concentrate on a countdown timer. And this countdown can exist in a plus or minus value. So say in a good example with Street Fighter, you would start at 99 seconds. And you would count down to zero, and that would be the round. So in order to do this, it's actually quite simple inside of CryEngine. What we're going to do is build it in FlowGraph, and then we're going to print it out to the screen. So I need to go to the entity, FlowGraph entity, and I'm going to double click and put it into our level. I'm going to right click, create my FlowGraph, and we'll call this one Counter FG. I have FlowGraph docked here. If you don't see it, you need to go to Tools, FlowGraph. And what I'm looking for is to basically set a value. I need to have a value like 99 seconds that I can work off of. So I'm going to do the Q key for the quick select, and I'm going to type in set number, and then I'm going to set my number value to 99. So now that I have my number value, I need to actually call it. So we can create a start node. So on start, I'm going to set 99. So in theory, I need to be able to print this out to a display. So if I go to Q, display, I can find my display debug message. And I can go to show and message. So now if I go to my viewport, I have 99 seconds. But I want to count down to that, so I need to be able to subtract. In order to do that, what we can do is access a timer. So we can go to Q, time, colon, timer, and we're going to use a period of one second. So it's going to call it every second. And we're going to call it based on a counter. So we need to go to Q, math, counter, and we're going to push this in, the value, inward, and it's going to count. But I need to be able to subtract that from that value. So I'm going to go ahead and break these. And we're going to press Q, math, sub, and we're going to provide both of these values into this sub. So A and B so is 99, and it's going to count upward. So if I were to push this into here, you'll notice now that we're actually counting down 94, 93, 92, 91. So what we can do here is, let's turn off debugging, and we'll trash that so we can save some space, is we can check for if to equal something. So if I go to Q, math, equal, inside of this, I can Q whatever it is I want to be able to equal. So in this, I want to be able to, to equal 99, and if that's the case, I want it to stop. So remember, it's counting upward. It's not actually counting down, so it would hit 99 based on that. So on that truth, let's be able to pause the timer. Keep in mind, also, you would be able to do something else entirely, not just the countdown. So if you were doing this, we would have the countdown to 91, but maybe we want a constant quince. Inside of this, we can access the actor, which is actually lower. Let's go ahead and do Q kill, there's nothing up. So if I had an actor, or it was the game SDK, you would be able to access the actor and say at the end of the countdown, I would be able to run it in and kill the actor because the time has run out. So just keep in mind that you can also add instead of subtract, and this is just a basic workflow to actually having a counter inside of your level of your game.